is another my view tv exclusive please remember to hit the notification bell like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent mama tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Wagwan people, hope everybody you know, okay, hope everybody you know, all right. The secret of a happy life is giving God the first part of your day, the first priority to every decision, and the first place in your heart. Now I tell the people them something, alive and well, another day amongst the living, not walking or sleeping amongst the dead. Pick up everybody who live for it today. Happy, 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 happy Sabbath. I remember me always telling you, you know, Every day above drunk is a blessing. Or oh, not from the other day, the people that my group up and I get slapped with. One by one by one. All the crime and violence are going on. I don't need the people them for it. I'm going to come on this platform. Yeah. A ball to ball come and show you get know. Everything when them now bring for the news, in the right for this platform. Yeah. I'm going to put together and put in one nice little package. One little package you're not even have to pay for. All you have to do is just keep back and listen and know where you're going from the operation. Hold on a bit, you know, make a start at St. Mary. A St. Mary man was shot and killed during a heated dispute over a parking spot. Hold on there, man, a fight over parking space. Let me tell the people about that, go, yeah. The deceased has identified 25 year old Adrian Lawrence of School Hill Castleton in the parish. He was shot and killed at about 3 45 pm on Thursday. Reporters indicate that Lawrence and Chef had an argument with another man known only as. Rick, yes people, holy name that them know for him, Rick, over a parking space. Police said that the man issued a threat to Lauren that he was going for his gun and that he would shoot him in his head. So we'll land there. You think so that boy you gonna tell me, say, them are gonna feed them gun and come back? No, 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 no. Fix him business before him leave. But guess what? Adrian never do that. People, you can know so Adrian is not a member of this operation. Yeah. Cause him not going bangle himself. According to the police, shortly after the man returned and was seen exiting the black BMW motor car, he allegedly pulled an gun and opened fire in the direction of Lawrence, who was it. He was pronounced dead right past spot, people. Right, right, right past spot, the man dead. You understand? Following the shooting, the man reportedly got back in his BMW and fled the scene. Thursday shooting death of Lawrence is the second murder committed in St. Mary Police Division since the start of 2022. Meanwhile, almost two hours after that incident, the police were summoned to a shooting in Anato Bay where Davian Bailey was shot and injured in Fort George Road following a verbal altercation between him and a group of bikers. According to the police, Bailey was driving his car home and a group of men driving motorcycles rode upon him and an argument developed. Shots were fired and Bailey was hit, after which the men sped off aboard their bikes. Bailey was taken to the Bay Hospital where he was treated and released. His injury were not considered life-threatening. I will learn a bit the now, paper. I left St. Mary and I come through the junction. And I stop at a little place called Ars Green. Yes, a little place called Ars Green. I don't know if nobody knows that little place there. Coming in from St. Mary's side, it's up on the left hand side. And look at you over there, get sick shot in the head. And the people, them so watch the man. I want to look at my boyfriend on the mob here. Move coming out the place and they die the man for a while. Him up. Wicked, wicked, wicked. But do you tell while him up? Him not so bad. And the man tell him, say, yo, I go for my gun and come back. And see it there now, people. And go for him gun and come back and slap him. Up. Hold on now, I come over and I'm going to more news. The police them finally all row. I mean, I see a slap, let me just slap a row still in there. You know where them can't row behind bars. An 18 year old has been charged in connection with the October 2021 murder of a construction worker, Stefan Morgan. Charged with Travis Vassal, otherwise called row. Yes, man. Row did to get slapped still. The police at about 9.30 a.m. on October 9, 2021, Vassal and another man approached Morgan and opened gunfire at him, hitting him several times. He was assisted to the Kingston Public Hospital and I know that guy ready. One little man ground there. So right, they're gonna give him time. I saw him be there. Right, 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 bad spot. Boss was arrested and charged on Tuesday, January 25th, 2021. His court date will be announced at a later date. I don't need to worry, people. You say once me get it, uno I have it. So no man that will ruin herself. Guess what we got now? Public and Montego Bay. It's like the people that must see what going on in the People are drop left, right, and center. Enough of them are pick side too. And enough of them align with certain fraction when involved in a crime and violence. Some of them feel like they come and face side for them. No, 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 no. We can't continue. Yet another killing in St. James after a man was stabbed to death in the busy Montego Bay Transport Center just after midday on Friday. 
Based on report from alleged eyewitness, the unidentified man was walking in the center when another man woke up and stabbed him several times. Yes, people. The wheeled off the knife, then ran from the scene, eluding transport operators who attempt to operate him. He was wearing a long sleeve red shirt, black pants, a black pair of what appears to be clark shows imitation clocks people them says a big imitation boot him in the running now can just lean up on him foot that is that a clocks that is clocks cause when not even have no name this is the third killing reported in the parish within the last 24 hours continuing the bloody start to 2022 it followed the shooting death of 22 year old ronaldo barnes who was gone down earlier in the day in mount query look for the video make i show you <laughs> Our father looks at things on the car safe for herself. Right past spot them pronounce him. Barnes that came hours after a man was shot and killed in downtown Montego Bay. He had been identified as 41 year old Miguel Robert Christie. I'm me telling about yesterday. Him come from Bottom Pen Glendavon address in the parish. According to body report, at about 6 55 pm, Christie was entering his car along the embassy place when he was shot multiple times in upper body. He was pronounced dead right past spot. Nobody, me, nobody tell about the living man came hospital. No, 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 no. We now work with that. Hold on a bit you now, like coming down from the ends. I can just go down to West Milan and give us some news from that side. The police time still a waste time. A man has been arrested and charged with alleged shooting death of his neighbor on Seton Christian Stablamar West Milan on Saturday, September 4, 2021. O'Brien Gale, otherwise called Bullby, a 27-year-old unemployed man of the community, has been charged with murder and illegal possession of firearm. Report that at about 3.45 p.m., Gale went to a section of his yard where the now deceased 24-year-old Richard Thompson resigned and kicked open his door with the help of three other men. And guess what? I am alone and taking all of the blame now. The other man, them gone left him. The man in the legend opened gunfire, killing Thompson as soon as he opened the door. Right past spot him dead. The police were summoned and on the arrival of the cops, Thomas was seen lying face down outside his house in a pool of blood with multiple gunshot on. Yes, people are wallipa, 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 shot them game. You understand? All right, but it's spot him dead. Gail was arrested in October 2021 and charges court date will be announced at a later date. I'm going to court date to not talk about. This is a boy on the slap when I come and tell people what court date. No, 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 no. Big waste of time. Hold on now, people, because the Sherlock are about to start back. Yes. The Sherlock White never did done still, you know. He never did done. Let me tell you what I'm Let me tell you who get shot out with the hospital and back of them life. Police investigators are seeking to establish a motive for the afternoon shooting in Dwayne Park, St. Andrew, which left four persons injured. Three men and a woman remain in hospital. The woman injured are said to be serious. Everybody know her. Every single somebody supposed to know the girl that get shot. Them call like Diamond. Yes, people. Diamond get worried about shot. Them say a six shot she get. You understand? Six is a country pick up and share back of your life. You can understand that one of the injured men is said to be a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force who is on suspension. Information reaching our new team that the four were at home in the community yesterday afternoon when they were pounced upon by gunmen who opened fire. It in all four. Yes, people. Them say all four of them get it. And then the friends of the friends of the friend, then escape. People, we talk as even as it might be. Remember our friend I kill friend these days. Look, I move on and give us some more news. Them here for watching gathering. But no, 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 no. Them decide for God bar. You know what's them God bar? You know exactly what got them. The quiet community of Bamboo in St. Anne was the scene of a triple shooting on Thursday night, resulting in the death of two men at a bar. One of the seats have been identified as 35 year old carpenter killing the face of Bamboo. The other man, the resident said, is only known by his alias. Andre. Report reaching our news team that shortly after 9 p.m. on Thursday, the men were among patrons at a bar when a lone gunman entered open gunfire before escaping. The three wounded men were later found suffering from bullet wounds after the shooting. Yes, people, then they had them yard enough. Maybe it would happen, but somebody at the bar they mix up, and that's why they men up get shot too. Face another man died. Yes, people. Them dead. However, the condition of the wounded man is unknown at this time. Investigation not going, so you need to warn yourself. May I get has an information and come come go now, people. My mommy have fixed some videos and holy person can show shown. Just forward not the group, man. Yes, forward not the group, and it's exactly what I want. Anyway, look at more.